Hello, I'm Tian Brown, encouraging you to keep the faith. Hello and welcome to the dog days of summer. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up, but traditionally August is a time where we slow down and enjoy some lazy days as the heat and the humidity take over. Uh, family vacations, barbecues, uh, reading and rocking in a hammock, and of course, trips to the beach. Well, everything in 2020 has been different and this summer is no exception. Now, if you head to the beach, it's vitally important that you maintain proper social distancing. But if you can make it to the ocean, it's highly recommended. Because what so many of us can use uh, after this crazy year of just fear and frustration and heartaches and headaches is the restorative and refreshing power of the ocean. The healing properties of the ocean are well known. The salt water can actually cleanse wounds but it is the raw power of the ocean and it's rhythmic lapping of the waves that gives its ability to induce a state of peace and contentment. The ocean is so big and so powerful, it's beyond our comprehension, just like God. Getting into nature, whether it's the ocean or the woods or the mountains, is a wonderful way to reset and to reconnect with our Heavenly Father, who after all created all of these beautiful landscapes to begin with. I personally like to stand knee deep in the waves and look out at the endless ocean in front of me and just marvel at God's work. So let the ocean wash away your fears and frustration and pain and agony and let it reconnect you with the awesome power of God. Because as Psalm 93 and 4 tells us, mightier than the waves of the sea is his love for you. God loves you so much. And even if you can't get to the ocean this summer, take a moment and close your eyes and bask in the powerful and infinite love that God has for you. As Pastor Rick Warren has said, God's love is like an ocean. You can see its beginning, but not its end. God bless you. Keep the faith.